So in this question, it's a solid sphere and a charge Q is uniformly distributed on it. And this, this rotating, this sphere is rotating with omega. We are supposed to find the magnetic moment due to this whole sphere and the ratio, its ratio to the mechanical moment. So this time we will take a cylindrical element because for all these circles on the cylindrical element, magnetic moment will be same. So it will simplify our calculations if we take the element in a cylindrical fashion. So here we at an angle theta will take uh, this this is d theta. So if this is d theta, the width of the cylinder is r d theta sin theta. So you can see from this diagram also. So this part is r d theta. And if this is theta, then this is theta from vertical. So this becomes r d theta sin theta. So this is the thickness of this uh, of this cylindrical shell on which we are calculating magnetic moment. And see th this takes on the both sides top and bottom. So when we will integrate, we will integrate it from 0 to pi by 2. Then it will cover the whole, whole sphere. Now another thing is if this is r, then the radius of the cylinder is r cos theta. And height of the cylinder is 2 times r sin theta. So this is r sin theta. So total height will be 2 r sin theta. So now if you have understood this diagram, let's move to the calculations. So a small current di. So see, we are calculating magnetic moments. So we need di into area. So area we can clearly see is pi into r cos theta whole square. So we need to calculate the small current di now which is going through the shell, the cylindrical shell. So di is dq by dt. So charge on this shell, cylindrical shell is rho times its volume and time period is 2 pi by omega t. So rho dv by t. So rho is q by 4 by 3 pi r cube and dv is length sorry the perimeter 2 pi into r cos theta into thickness r d theta sin theta times height 2 r sin theta so again uh, the current di on this cylindrical shell is charge on the cylindrical shell which is rho dv divide by time period of one complete rotation. So rho is q by 4 by 3 pi r cube. The volume dv is 2 pi into r cos theta circumference times r d theta sin theta into height 2 r sin theta. So lot of these values will get cancelled out. So now we find d mu, the magnetic moment because of the cylindrical shell, which is dia. So we put the value of di here from here. So this is the value of di, which we'll get from simplifying this. So area, cross section area is pi r cos theta whole square. So this can be written as 3q omega r square by 2 sin square theta cos cube theta. So let's calculate this integral separately. This is uh, sine square theta, I can write as 1 minus cos square theta. So this becomes cos cube minus cos 5. And cos cube integral is sine theta minus sine cube theta by 3. And cos 5 integral is sine theta minus sine 5 theta by 5 minus 2 sine cube theta by 3. So limits are same, 0 to pi by 2 for both the integrals. So I can cancel this sine theta. And simplifying it, we get this limit 0 to pi by 2 is equal to 2 by 15. So this moment becomes this term into 2 by 15, which is q omega r square by 5. 
Now we are supposed to find the ratio of this magnetic moment to mechanical moment. So mechanical moment of a solid sphere is I omega, which is 2 by 5 mR square into omega. So mu divided by L, which is Q by 2m, which is our standard result. So here in this question, important thing is just the how the element we are taking. So we are taking a cylindrical shell element. 